When you arrive at Bandcamp, uh, we ask you to arrive at this gate where we'll have QR codes for you to scan on your phone where you fill out a survey asking some corona-related uh, questions. And which afterwards you'll proceed to a little desk over here and we'll have your temperature taken. Please make sure that you're wearing your mask while you are also in line. Hi, I might still be Ryan Nolan at this point. So after you check in, you're gonna set your instruments along this fence, making sure you guys are still keeping equal space apart, like we see the leadership team doing right now. All right, so now we're gonna talk about when it's appropriate and not appropriate to wear your masks outside. So when you're in basic block outside, minding your distance six feet apart, it's okay to take your mask off. When the instructor is coming up to you to fix your position in basic block, you both must have your masks on. Stand up straight. And obviously, when we're in playing position and playing our instruments, you can have your masks off, which is why we have to be outside when we play. Would, would you like to thank anyone, the Academy? Um, mostly just Burger King for uh, supplying me and my family with food for the past 16 years. Mm. Not sponsored. After <laughs> <laughs> use, we're limiting it to one boy and one girl at a time. And we'll also make sure you both are wearing your masks when you go inside. For bathrooms, you'll be using the ones in the middle school lobby, over here and over here. And don't forget to wash your hands. Uh, welcome to my office. I'm still Ryan Nolan. And now we're going to discuss how you can mind your distance. So mind your distance means that you have to be equally spaced apart uh, by six feet at least. But it doesn't mean that you have to be completely alone. You can still socialize with each other. So this is the second half of my office. Glad to have you here. I'm still Ryan Nolan. And I'm here to talk to you about water breaks. Now, water breaks are going to be a little bit difficult, which is why we uh, have to remind you that to keep minding your distance and to bring your own water bottle. We stress it every single year, uh, and this year we're gonna stress it even more, especially big water bottles. It will be less times you have to go and refill it at the bucket, less times you have to get closer to people and move around so you can keep minding your distance. You have a lot of water, you're hydrate, don't dehydrate, uh, don't pass out, hydrate before band camp, and mind your distance. And that's how we're gonna do water breaks. During sectionals in one of the many rooms outside, we will be outside six feet apart, equally distanced with your masks off so you can play. In the event of severe weather, we will put our instruments back in our cases and head back inside and we will not play. In the event of severe weather, when we come back inside, sections will be placed in their own room, equally distanced apart, seven and a half feet, with these spacers facing the same direction and masks are required and there is no playing. So now the question becomes, what do you do when we can't play inside? You can discuss rhythms. Go over drill. You can write in your music. Sing and finger through your music. Answer any questions you might have. And just spend time together as a sectional family. And there will be absolutely no playing and masks must be worn. During lunchtime, lunches will be pre-packaged and handed out to each individual as we're minding our distance apart. And during lunchtime, we have to make sure that we're minding our distance as we see these fine leadership people doing over here as they're eating their lunch. Um, also this year, there is going to be no dinner, and band camp will officially end at 5 o'clock. So go home, hydrate, and shower, please, and also wash your hands before you come back the next day. Quacky, follow me! We have the elusive drumline practicing and minding their distance already before band camp. And playing out of time.